This is Ava's little cardboard house. <laughs> Ava's just looking at the design and thinking to herself about everything. It's pretty cute. We got a uh, measure for the floors on Blossom so that we can mark the cutouts here and then work on the undersides of these. All the bulkheads under here need a little bit of love. And Ava's little stove, which she had a great idea. She was gonna put the stove on the end here. And then this is a totally sealed off locker. Well, we got a glass that's holes, but it's totally sealed off from the inside of the boat. So we can put a vent outside and have a little propane locker right here. Pretty cool. for rollers. Um, I just wanted to mention um, what happened yesterday because I didn't get a chance to tell you. I um, So we got the engine back in. I'm gonna turn this on, drill a little bit while I'm talking to you. Hope you don't mind the sound of the motor. This will just be a real quick video, but. So anyways, um, we, got the tank back in and the fuel filter light stuck on and stayed on and so he climbed underneath the truck and he tapped on the fuel selector solenoid and um, the fuel filter light went away so we're thinking it's that because there's two tanks two diesel tanks in it thinking that the uh, collector switch is bad, which is like a $500 part. Ridiculous. Anyways, we found an aftermarket one for $60. Bucks. We're going to test it with that. It's that though, because as soon as he taps on that thing, the, uh, the light went off. We might just be able to pull it off and oil it. We might just need some WD-40 or whatever. So I might do that, but we had it for a spare even, or whatever, you know. Switch it. See if it goes up. <laughs> All right. We switched. We uh, fixed our fuel. Not being able to read tank. How much is in the tank issue? <laughs> <laughs> but then we rode down. It went over 50, and it, that fuel filter light came on again at higher yeah. RPMs. Over mm. 60. Yeah, we're over 60. So I don't know. Oh. Yeah, it was designed by International Harvester. Does it say International Harvester in the little corner there? Down in that little box? Yeah. Does that say International? By International Harvester. Yeah, that's who designed that engine in our truck. For a tractor. So that's a tractor motor. Right? <laughs> that's pretty fun, man. Yeah. You've been wanting a tractor. There you go. <laughs> Take that motor out and put it in my chassis. <laughs> cool, man. Hello. All right, so we're moving forward on the trailer. I put one of the rollers in here. And so the roller actually is just underneath this beam right here, which the keel sits on. That beam and this beam, which is attached across and will be attached here on the trailer. 
These are marking the center of the axles and the axles are underneath. So these rollers are just getting put on and they need to be shortened actually. We gotta cut them a little short and we're putting some uh, washers in between there that we just made today. I'll show you those. We made a bunch of washers. that will fit in between the area so that um, the roller, if it does slide, if the roller does slide this way and that way, that if it hits the bolt here, it won't stop it from rolling. It'll have the washer and it'll still be able to roll. to work on the old 95 we got the an aftermarket fuel selector valve a new one is freaking five hundred dollars and then when you look look online and they're anywhere between like 50 and 60 bucks for an aftermarket one <laughs> that's a pretty wide margin there place and Pete's saying even mechanics must be scratching their heads like well, who designed this yeah wow big down right now for me poor Pete full of diesel Yeah. Give me that screwdriver. This one? Any okay. Screwdriver. It's it's quickly yeah. surgery right now. I cannot fucking. It's surgery with a leaky see. leak fest. Ah, this light. Not helping much. Do you want me to flash a flashlight or? What do you no, need? I'm just gonna get. There we go. Oh. Here's the clip. Okay. So that one is the inboard one. Is that one? So see these are coming off fairly easy. See how bad this one leaks. How that hurt. Mm. That one's not leaking too bad. See how bad this one leaks. This one's not too bad. Okay, so those two go on. Like this. Can I get this out of the way now? He says not too bad, it's just boring. Get all these off of here. I guess just pull them all off now. They should pretty much stay where they go. <clears throat> you have to pull them all in order to do this. <laughs> I can't, I can't fucking see. This is torture, you guys. This is what torture looks like. Oh god, poor Pete. He's in the thick of it. Surgery. He's trying to save. Yep, that's the big one. Okay. Why won't that one go on? Don't panic, it's not flowing that fast. Like, it's not filling up the bucket, you know what I mean? I am reversed. Okay, now this one up here. This one should be. It seems worse than it is. Yeah. It's not really terrible. Yeah, it's not very nice on me. No, it is not. It's getting all over fucking me. I know. We kind of knew. We kind of figured. You can't really hook these up wrong because they. 
can only go one way. It's easy to get them mixed up though, I'll tell you that. Okay, that. Remember that video that guy said that they, that they had mixed it? You can't. Oh, okay. Because the hoses, they're different sizes. just uh, actually go right to the house when you're done with this. Okay. Okay. He's got six of these babies to put on. It's like open heart surgery to this thing. <laughs> insane. I knew that was just and if they would have put it in a little bit easier spot to get to. Okay. Oh my goodness. Up. Wow. I'm just covered in fucking diesel. Yeah. Nobody shows you what to do really to do this. Probably because they know that's just going to be a mess. <laughs> <laughs> and a mess it is. <clears throat> All right. Oh my is over. goodness, yeah. This is all I was not looking forward to this. I kn this is what exactly what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> well, yeah, of course. I mean, you unhook the fuel lines and shit just goes everywhere. All right, the first ride we're taking is straight to the house so poor <sighs> Pete can take a shower God, <laughs> and get changed. <clears throat> You're a good girlfriend, Courtney. You'd be doing this on Valentine's Day. <laughs> You're a good boyfriend. What do you mean? Oh, uh, well, this is what guys like to do, supposedly. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are crazy. Just give me a bunch more bags. Oh yeah, I brought the whole box. Well, Just the box this, is kind of empty, but... Pull that green thing out. And okay. Hey, flip it around the other way. Just so I'm not laying the Alright, All right, here's the original one. We did not hear any noise from it. But we heard noise from the new one. Spun out right at the very end, but it's tight. Okay, Which might be us. <laughs> well, it looks like you can get a socket on that bottom one at least. Yeah. I mean a wrench. Okay, we switched it to front tank and then the gauge went down to empty. The front tank isn't empty, is it? <laughs> Shouldn't be. Unless that fuel gauge just isn't working. Right. Next thing would be to drive it and see if that fuel filter light comes on. So we got it super revved up high and no fuel filter light. That's great. That is oh, awesome. Not, why, oh why yeah. The yeah, the uh, the switch is working. We see the fuel coming up when we switch tanks. Unfortunately, when we switch to the front tank, though, it goes down to empty. So the gauge isn't. Yeah. So the gauge. Full, yeah. so the gauge... Get fuel now and see if it's pulling off the back tank right now. True. It should yeah. Take about a three eighths of a tank back there. Yeah. It. And then the front one should be full. Yeah. So, anyways, I think we fixed it. That's great news. That's excellent news. Yay! Yeah, that's. I can't believe that light didn't come on at all that time. Not even no, flickering, huh? Nothing. That's good. Yeah. We had a, we had a, a blockage in that thing or something. Yeah, something was going on. That's awesome. Woohoo!